I just stumbled upon this nifty tool, Osh or Olama Shell Helper by Charyan and thought of sharing it with you. The tool is quite simple. What it does is it uses Olama to convert English to Unix-like or Linux-like shell commands translation. For example, if you don't know how to write a Perl script or how to find all the files on your Linux operating system, all you need to do is to just write it in English pass it to Osh or Olama shell helper and it will use Olama and back at the back end any of the LLM and would convert it your English text into a command and would give you the command. So let's see how can we use it on our local Linux system. Let me log into my Ubuntu terminal. So as you can see that I am using Ubuntu 22.04 and it has one GPU. Let me clear my screen. The first thing we need to do is to install Olama. The command is simple. I am curling it and then using the shell script to get it installed. Okay, so you can see that my NVIDIA GPU is installed and also my Olama is also installed fairly quickly. And if you don't know what Olama is, I have done a couple of videos in detail on Olama. So I would suggest you use it. Okay, let me use the Mistral model because once Olama is installed, I'm going to pull the Mistral model to use it. It is going to pull the Mistral. And you can see it is around 4 gig of size. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. That is almost done. It is pulling out all the layers of configs and stuff. And now it is verifying the checksum of that model which it, ha which it has downloaded. So model has been downloaded successfully and now let's start the Olama server. Okay, so it says um, the port is already in use. So, okay, so let me clear up the port. All right thing because when we first time install the Olama, the Olama starts automatically and I think that is why it is giving me this error. So, so yeah, you can see that Olama is already started. So we don't need to start it. Cool. Let me clear my screen or maybe. Okay. Now let's also um, get clone the repo of Osh. Let's wait. So that's done. LS and let's see into Osh. Let's clear the screen and Let's check what is in there. Okay, so all we need to do now is to run this Python script with the command which we want to use. So let me quickly run it. So first let's me ask it a simple one. I'm going to ask it as Python and I have Python 3, I guess. So Python osh.py update all packages, press enter. It is generating the shell command as you can see on your screen and then it is asking me that uh, this is a command do I want to proceed or not or maybe I'll just say E to explain but you just look at the thing that I'm running it as an Ubuntu user so it has recognized that and it has given me it with sudo that is very very intelligent so I just pressed E and it is going to give me all the manual of what exactly is that so maybe I'll just pray say yes and there you go so it is updating my Ubuntu instance okay that is almost done okay so I think yeah so the command st stopped running that is good it's finished successfully let me clear my screen now let's create a file i'll just call this abc.txt and then i'm just going to put any stuff here hello world how are you and then i'm going to save it and now let's run i'm just asking it python 3 osh.py change owner of abc text to to root there you go so change 
on a root abc dot txt i'm just going to say no and if you do the abc dot txt it will still be with the ownership of ubuntu so if i run it again and if i say yes it says no and the reason being because this time it was unable to recognize that this is the ubuntu uh, we are logged in with ubuntu user not the root user so we would need to have sudo in front of it okay in the previous one it was able to detect that anyway so you can see that all in all it it is quite a nifty utility if you work a lot with linux then you can um, simply go ahead and write it in english if you are not a linux admin or something like that maybe i'll just ask it one uh, more question and then we will done with it so i'm just asking it add the user journey with the group stalker and stuff and the potential command so there you go so it has this time it has added sudo there which is good so i'll just say no and so you can maybe i'll just ask it bit of a hard question and then we'll be done with it let me clear my screen okay so let me ask it Uh, right uh, shell script to take backup of os and also schedule it in cron let's see what it does if it is able to generate the shell script or not so there you go it is so you can see that it has specified the shebang at the top and then backup directory creating the backup directory and then all that stuff and then it has also uh, given us the cron type amazing stuff so i'll just say n here so this is it guys i hope that you liked it and uh, let me know if you are thinking of deploying it any use case to you want to share would be really uh, keen to know what sort of use case you are looking to install this olama so really hats off to this uh, creator of this i think really good um, he has also described it here as how it works and there are a lot of examples which you can see and you can of course run it with any model uh, with the because we are using olama at the back end this is it let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as that helps Thanks for watching.